I love my mother, but she would talk to a lamppost if it could hold a conversation. She had this annoying habit of always getting me involved in conversations with people I didn't know. When I was a child, she used to stand behind me and push me forward towards the person she was speaking with. She would create this barrier-like presence behind me so there was no way of gracefully escaping, leaving me no excuse but to talk to this person I didn't know. My wife will often laugh at me after I've just finished a conversation with a random person I met on the subway. You are just like your mom, you know? What do you mean, I say? Anytime we go anywhere, you either meet someone you know or make a new friend. Sound familiar? As I start to slice some apples with Adam, a youth from the Monday night drop-in, we laugh as we talk about our day. I show him how to lay the apples across the bottom of the pan, add cinnamon to the top, then layer the butter, oat, and brown sugar mixture on top. He has never baked before, and it felt good helping him through his first try. We talk about the youth shelter he is staying in and how they are offering a conflict resolution workshop. He tells me he is excited about it because he has never been able to stand up for himself. He says he is too shy to ask for help. I tell him I still have trouble with shyness, but sometimes all you need is a little push. You will never know what you are capable of until you face your fears. He smiles and says he will think about it. We put the crisp in the oven, and as he walks away, I think about the people and experiences I would have missed out on if I hadn't had that small push moving me forward. <laughs>